Hey guys, welcome back. So I feel like a lot of you have been waiting for today's video. On my left hand, I have Double Dips. Cutie Patootie is the green and Jelly Time is the pink. However, on my right hand, we're gonna do an Ombre Manny with two of the colors that I made. What was it, a week or two ago? when I was playing around with those mica pigments and created a couple of custom dip powders. So I am using the lemon and the magenta. So this whole different style of ombre was inspired by Kate from Kate's Nail Corner. She uploaded a video, I think it was actually the same day I did this Manny cause I just absolutely fell in love with the style of ombre that she did and I had naked nails and needed to do something on them and was kind of going through a dip block. And after I watched her video, I was like, yep, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And I fell in love with it when I did it on my left hand. And I was like, I'm going to do this with the colors I made and film it and show you guys. But if you guys don't already follow Kate, you definitely should go check her out. Her manis, I swear, that girl doesn't ever have a bad mani. And I just love watching her videos. She's just so, so sweet. So I did full lemon, that really pretty yellow. I'm really into yellows right now for some reason, which is weird because I don't think I did any yellow last year. Um, but I'm just really feeling the yellow for spring and summer. So I did that on my thumb. I did full magenta, two dips, of course, on my pinky. And then I'm going to ombre my index, middle, and ring. All three of them are getting the ombre. I think it looks super, super cute. This may be my new go-to ombre style. So I am going to let you guys watch for a bit and I will pop back in in a little bit.
All right, so while you guys are watching, I am gonna talk to you guys for a little bit about these powders. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a dip company. I don't make powders, I don't sell them. So I don't even know if I made these correctly. Um, I will say I didn't have any issues with them chipping or you know any kind of issues like that. Um, had no problems with them. They actually went on really, really, really super thin. So you could actually get away with doing probably like three dips in these. However, I prefer to do just two and the coverage, as you guys could see, just on one dip. You could do just one dip of these if you want to. The ombre, I actually liked the way it turned out. It didn't really have much of a blend, like that nice ombre fade when they just blend together nicely. Um, but I kind of liked the look that they gave, even though you could clearly see, you know, where the purple stopped and the yellow began but you guys will see at the end or if you've already seen the thumbnail or the instagram pic or you came here from my facebook group then you've already seen the finished manny but i kind of like how they turned out but i didn't have any issues with the powders i'm not saying that if you do them on you know your natural nails i know some of you girls just dip over your nails you could do that. I'm just not 100% sure if there will be any issues. If I'm being 100% honest, I do always have some kind of overlay on my nails. Even now, even though I had the gel allergy, I still have, you know, I have those tips on. I have dip powder over top. So I still have that strength already as an overlay. I swear, you guys, this house is quiet all day long. And as soon as I start to do a voiceover, Gabe wants to come out and talk or the dog wants to find the loudest, squeakiest toy possible in this house. So that is just my little disclaimer. I can't speak for how the dip powders work on their own. I know they were super, super fun to make. I had no issues, but like I said, I have this overlay that is kind of adding protection. I think that they would be okay though. I don't think there'd be an issue. Um, maybe if you're worried about it, do a dip of clear first and then do your, you know, your handmade dips and then of course cap in clear. And we all know that clear dip powder, clear acrylic is stronger because it is not compromised by the pigments. So, Try that, kind of sandwich it in between some clear dips and see if that works. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys watch. I'm gonna finish up my ombre, I'm gonna cap in clear, and I'll be back.
right, so I am clear capping with my double dip clear. I love this clear. It is currently my favorite. It is super, super clear and super, super affordable. It's like 15 bucks for this two ounce jar. I do have a code for double dip. It is an affiliate code. So if you do order from double dip, I will receive a commission, but it's 15 bucks to begin with. And then with my code, it'll save you a couple more bucks on top of it. And this little spoon is adorable. When I ordered from Rainbow Day Nail Bar, she had these tiny, tiny, adorable little spoons. And I grabbed a couple of them and I think I need to get some more. They're super, super cute. So I was using that to scoop over my clear just because I've kind of outgrown my nail room again. So I'm in the process of building up. <laughs> I got a pegboard and some shelves that I had made. So I have all my stuff kind of all over the place because I'm trying to reorganize in there. And I cannot find my other jar of clear. So I didn't want to contaminate my solid clear with any of the shimmer or anything because these powders that I made, they are made with a mica powder. So they do have a little bit of a shimmer to them. And there he goes again with the damn squeaker toy. <laughs> Wonders, stop. So I have clear capped. I'm going to brush off. Anyway, Rainbow Day Nail Bar. I will leave a link down below because I know some of you might ask me about the little spoons. I am still planning to do a video with her products. I have a bunch of her colors already. I've already used some, but then she dropped her spring collection and I was like, I want to do my video with that. So that video will be coming soon. I love her stuff so, so much. So I'll leave a link for the little spoon. Check out her other stuff while you're there. All right, Gabe took the dogs outside, so we should be good to at least finish this voiceover. So I'm going to activate my nails up real good. I had no issues with the activator working with the dip powders that I made, no issues whatsoever. I e-filed them, I hand filed them, did my normal filing routine and everything was fine, which you guys will see here in a minute. I am working on a filing video for you guys, or I will be soon. Um, I had it planned to do a couple weeks ago, and then I had that gel allergy, and I've just been really careful lately with how I've been filing, because I just don't want to cut myself <laughs> right now, because I feel like my hands just now got back to normal, and filing on camera is different than filing off camera. So I went ahead, did all my filing and shaping off camera. And as you can see, my thumb on my right hand, it's still a little bit red. So I do want to be careful when I'm filing. So it's been taking me even longer to file just because I'm really taking my time. And I am almost done with this Manny. I am going to do dip top coat, you guys. <laughs> When have you ever seen me do a dip top coat? Well, y'all are going to see a lot of it for a while. I'm going to use Triple D's dip top coat. So if you are not familiar with dip top coat, after you file shape and buff, you want to rinse your hands and then apply a coat of activator. You want to let it sit for two minutes. After the two minutes is up, I like to give it a quick swipe with just some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel. Then I take a dry paper towel and just rub my nails really, really good. Dry them off, get off any excess activator that's on my nails. Because the last thing you want to do is contaminate your dip top coat brush. You don't want to do that. So I like to take this extra little step. I know some people do it. I know some people don't. I like to. It gives me a little peace of mind. So for your dip top coat, your first coat, don't worry about making it perfect. You just want to do a quick two or three, two or three, not four or five, two or three real quick strokes on your nails. And then you want to make sure you brush your brush off on a paper towel. That way, if your brush did come in contact with any activator on your nail, you're going to brush it off onto the paper towel and it's not going to contaminate your whole entire bottle of liquids. 
because once you contaminate your whole bottle of dip top coat, it, it's pretty much done. You can't use it after that. So I'm gonna finish up my dip top coat. Your second layer can be more detailed. That's when you can take your time a little bit more, get closer to your cuticle, cap your free edge, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna let you guys watch as I finish up my dip top coat. I know some people when they do their second layer of dip top coat, they don't wipe their brush off on a paper towel. I'm terrified to not wipe my brush off, so I do it with both coats, but it's totally up to you. So when your nail kind of gets those wrinkles, that's when you know it is ready to go in for your second coat. So I am going to let you guys watch and I will be back to show you the finished Manny. All right, so dip top coat is all done. It is nice and dry. Triple D's dip top coat dries super, super fast, like two minutes. And look how shiny they are. So all of the other dip top coats that you guys are gonna see me try out, I'm gonna compare them to the triple D top coat. So I'm gonna keep this picture and we're gonna put them side by side. Each video on my left hand is double dips dip top coat. But Triple D, it's like damn near the closest thing to gel that I have found. So I did this Manny actually at night. So instead of doing just my normal cuticle oil, I'm going to show you guys kind of my nighttime routine. This has helped my eczema so, so, so much. So this is Candy Skincare's Concentrated Skin Cream. It is unscented. Um, I believe she's starting to make them in scents, but I like to get the unscented because I just scent them up with whatever cuticle oil I want to. And they do come with these super cute little spatulas so you don't have to stick your fingers in the jar. So I just pull out a bit of the skin cream and then I just mix a couple drops of the cuticle oil in there and just, you know, put it on like lotion but I swear this has helped me tremendously, you guys. So I'm just gonna get that all rubbed in. I did cut out majority of this. <laughs> you don't need to sit here and watch me just put lotion on for two minutes. So I'm just gonna wipe my nails off so that you guys can see the full finished Manny. I definitely wanna hear all your thoughts down below in the comments. I know the fade wasn't that great, but like I said, I kind of love how these turned out. I kind of, I don't know, I, I'm kind of digging them. So you guys will have to let me know what you think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.